Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Cybern Gamer, and welcome back to Unreal Tournament. We're going to be continuing and possibly finishing Capture the Flag, but we're going to first of all start with November Subpair. This is what I would consider probably one of the more definite, unbalanced maps. Take their flag. In all honesty. On my way. Red, red Simply due to Guide how the, the bases are designed. I'll quickly demonstrate the red base while picking up the flat cannon, which is probably one of the more useful weapons in this map. So my base is there, technically. Well, this entire area I'm in is technically my base. But what makes this map especially quite imbalanced compared to, like, the later two maps, which are probably going to be the better two maps that we will have to worry about, um... Well, for a start, is that that sniper nest there that you can use to snipe right into the enemy base. The other problem is, I just find that this map is imbalanced due to simply... This is the only way that you can get to the blue base, is, this, is through this staircase. There's also the fact that the blue flag is surrounded by us. I want to point out that the red flag is not surrounded by acid or anything of the nature like that. So actually attacking the red base is a lot easier because you have this route here, you have like you can go that way or you can come this way. When you get into this room, this is normal water. You don't have to worry about it. Same with here. This is all normal water. I just think that when they designed this map... Now, obviously, this is coming towards the end of the Capture the Flag ladder, so I kind of understand that it is going to be a bit more balanced towards the fact that it is, you know, end game, but it's still pretty unfair just how it's designed in my opinion. Oh dear. I need some I'm gonna not steal that. Enemy flight carrier is here. I don't know why, but the girls seem to be a bit more, seem to find it easier in recovering the flag. And she died of acid, poisoning, or whatever it is. I also probably said that the big cake of hell is easier to get to for the red team than it is blue. I killed a female. I'm also gonna, while someone's dying behind me, kill this one. I don't know, I just feel like, no, like I said, I do feel like November sub pen is a bit more imbalanced and fairer on the blue team, because the blue team doesn't nearly have as many problems getting to their flag as the red team does. And for one, the red team has two ways of getting to their flag. Blue, only one. Something just propelled me forward. The fact that you kind of have the ability to just do this kind of makes it easier. Uh, this is one of the maps that when I started playing this game, I struggled on a lot. Oh, I'm actually getting a bit low on flat cannon ammo. One of the things you don't want is a rocket launcher when you're in close quarters. I'm under heavy attack. My house. 
weapons like the bio rifle, the shock rifle, but pretty much any gun that isn't the rocket launcher is better at close quarters than this. But, you know, that's just how it goes. Anyway, we are on the second to last map, Hydro. This is more fair because the map is essentially mirrored. Take their flag. Roger, got it. Red, red. On my way. Red leader. Roger that. Red lead, got it. Red leader. Yeah, so this is more fair in the fact that the map is practically mirrored, which also makes it a lot more enjoyable because it's not, you know, you're having to painfully murk your way up. I think I just said murk and not work. The point is, it's more fair on this map and the final one than November Serpent. This is also another one of those maps where you could easily just let the AI do everything because we have this central bunker here that you can like stand in and do what he's doing and snipe the AI. I'm not going to do that again because it's going to be very good for you guys. And then he ran out of AR. He ran out of ammo because he was rushing out. Of Apparently, we seem to have lost our flag. I'm not sure which is the easier way to attack the bases from. I actually think the left side is slightly easier. But the right side, I would say, is better because you can, like, raid all the enemy's supplies. It's definitely longer to go the way I've got, I've came, but... It's easier to get to the flags. Like I said, this map is perfectly balanced. In terms of design. Okay. I don't know what it sent me flying there, yeah, but... Come on, did. Oh crap, the flag was dropped on the bridge. Hopefully one of the AI can grab it. I've got the flag! Nice. <laughs> I don't know what killed me there, which is actually the thing that's confused me a little bit. Got it. Uh, I mean this way is longer, but uh, I don't think she's came no, she's gone the other way. She's gone what is Pretty much the shorter way, because I'm pretty sure she's gone the left, down that way, down over there. Yeah. I think the AI always takes the shorter route to the flags. And yeah, the way. That way over there is definitely shorter. But up next is Assault, and Assault is actually my favourite uh, map type in this game. I kind of wish I had a flag cannon. I'm not going to lie. I do wish I had a flag cannon, it's just easier. Oh, nice. Ow. That ah, crap. I'm not very good at anticipating the AI's movement attacks, apparently. Not movement attacks, attack patterns. Cause, like I said, they will always basically aim for where you're going to be running to. Where is the. Oh, there's the flag cannon. Need to get out quickly. Right, now we're outside again. Honestly, it might be more worthwhile to get. Attacking, attacking. Yeah, so my, my nearly dying was my own fault there. I was going to say it's probably worthwhile to grab 
another one just to see if they can uh, attack. Apparently, both the AI are in the forward bunk. Oh, our flag's been taken. And if I anticipate them correctly, they should be coming this way. Yeah, so they will always go down the left side. Whenever they think it's easy. Actually, I'm curious. Is there... No, oh, there isn't. I'm basically dead, so... Yeah, you're also stuck, you idiot. So. Oh. I didn't realize there was someone behind me. That probably would have been useful to know before I died. Is this the only thing that's up here? Yeah, I think so. Why do I get the feeling I've got half my team defending, which is why no one's really attacking? I get the feeling that's the case right now. Which is very possible with me playing this game, because I do mess up ordering sometimes. Yeah, there's some health up there. Anything but fair, I just spawn in and immediately have to deal with an enemy. That is not fair. Hopefully I can raid the blue base if I can actually get into it without dying again. Okay, Jesus, why they weren't firing at me. Might be something to do with that uh, firing priority. AI typically tends to target whoever they see first. So that might be why they're not firing. Yeah, man, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die for that. Oh yeah, there's stuff up here, isn't there? I actually forgot this is where you can pick up the rocket launcher. I might try the rocket launcher for a bit. Yeah, I've gone back into my base. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Oh, they got the extra hit. Sometimes you... Sometimes you can get lucky. I don't know what the heck happened there. Sometimes you can get lucky in AI base. People run back into the shots. That's funny when they do that. Here, so. He had a ripper. And it's like I kind of decided that was the best thing to do. Oh my god, why is their entire team here? Oh, I knew I'd have problems with this map. I almost always do. And that's not gonna be good for timing. Incoming. I had a feeling I'd have problems with... You 
useless. I had a trouble with sub November sub pen, which I'm surprised I didn't actually have too many. I'm killing myself with my own shotgun pellets. Oh, God. It's like friendly fire is the thing, but you can still kill yourself. Right, let's see if I can actually get back to my base. My priority is just staying alive. Which, of course, I'm not going to be able to do. Because... This is a difficult map. Red courtyard, which means they're making their way out. They've already got them outside. Ooh. Return it, return it, return it. No, someone else picked it up. Dropped it, kicked it up. Blue courtyard, they're already on the blue side. Nice. Yeah, typically whenever you hear the AI say, I've got our flag, that means it's about to get returned. Honestly, you know what? Everyone that tries to take their flag, because I get the feeling if I don't, we're going to be here a while. I don't know how the AI responds to your orders. But I know taking a rocket to the face nearly kills you. For God's sake. I just want the translocator. Right, they're gonna come this I get the feeling they're gonna come from this way. So let's try and at least get to the midway point. Oh my god. <laughs> they have sniper rifles, which is why they're trying it which is why you keep seeing bullets impacting in front of me. They're probably the most effective way to kill someone at long range, even though it looks like an M4 carbine just with a sniper scope shoved onto it. Man down and stay down. The good thing is some of the AI will stay by the enemy base, so they may be able to grab the flag pretty quickly. Orbital, which is the net last map of this ladder, is not going to be fun. I I get the feeling that's going to be what's going to happen. So I'm trying not to make much noise and project it into the headset, but I've got a bit of a dry throat. Alright, we've got the flag, but they're not going to... We won't hold it. If we hold it, I'll be surprised. As I thought we were gonna hold it. As long as I can avoid getting hit by a rocket launchers, I should be alright. That was our team. Oh, dear. I'll be surprised. I was going to say, I'd be surprised if I managed to stay alive, but I doubt it. And they managed to return it. Damn it! I'm sure someone in the comments is going to say I'm just bad at this game. And you're right, I am. I don't normally play FPS games. I prefer base building games like the Command & Conquer series. You know, begs the question, why am I playing this play? Oh. 
mostly because I enjoy these types of games. I don't play them that often, but when I do play them, it tends to be because I enjoy playing them. And this is an example of that. I, while I'm ba pretty bad at this, I mean, if I was to try... Wait, what was that? Oh, right. I'm stuck. Rifle rounds were not worth it, apparently. Now, like I was saying, I may not be the best at FPS games. Like, I'm pretty sure if I did multiplayer, I would get absolutely destroyed. But it doesn't, it's not going to stop me from playing. Where's their entire team? I bet their team's out. It is longer, but this way does provide a bit more cover. Die. That's my teammate. Because we can't even fire a shot, explosive shot at him. Otherwise, I probably will Like I would translocate through there just to skip. But it's really not worth it. Useless. Not only that is I would also drop the flag, so yeah. Anyway, we're gonna do we're gonna do fancy. That wasn't the fancy one. I'll do it for the last one then. But orbital is the final map. A lucky thing is this map is um, mirrored again. It's another one of those maps that is mirrored. The bit of screen glitch there. So I don't know how this is going to go. But enjoy the very heavy rock music. Our bases are pretty freaking big. Definitely gonna want three people to defend it. I'm kind of surprised he didn't pick that up, but yeah. Because there's six players on the map, both sides, I kind of. Need a lot of players or well, AI defending. The advantage that you do have over AI as well is like you can strafe. I mean, strafing is pretty limited in this game, but you can do it. Right, we're now back into the center room. Actually, that shield belt's going to be very useful at keeping me, you know, not dead. I only have to worry about capturing the flag three times, but I'd probably say this is equal. This is equal length to lava giant in terms of the length you have to run before you get to the flag, your base. I need some backup. Target. Another nice thing about the shock rifle, because it travels in a straight line, it's easy to kill enemies. Also, there's anti grab boots, so you can do this. Alright, my shield's almost gone, so I need to grab some armor. It's not necessarily going to recharge it, but it will help. I fucking saw you there. I didn't mean to do that. I've still got one more to go. I'm surprised this map is going as well as it is doing, because I normally have a lot of trouble on Orbital. It definitely feels the best though for like a final. 
Like I said, this is probably one of the longest lengths you have to run to get to the flag. I don't know what these are supposed to be, I really don't. I do know that they can't stop the freaking moving. Flag was dropped. I still have anti growl so I'm gonna Whee! come up here. Uh, no, actually, I'm gonna go down here. <laughs> oh, okay, I still had... I'm literally going in a circle in the enemy base. This is how insane this map is. That's my teammate. <laughs> Shut my own teammate because I'm kind of in a panicking moment right now. Ow. Yeah, manly pose. Anyway. For the third time in this Let's Play, we return to the Hall of Champions. So, alongside our deathmatch and domination trophies, we now earn the trophy of the Capture the Flag Ladder. Boy, does that look glorious. Anyway, next time we will begin Assault, and after that we will begin the Challenge Ladder. But thank you all for watching this episode of Unreal Tournament. Rem do remember to leave a like and a comment as it helps me judge if you actually are enjoying this content I'm making or not. Also, please... Do not forget to subscribe and click that bell for notifications to receive, you know, notifications of when new videos go out. Thank you all for watching this episode, and I will see you all in the next one for the beginning of the assault. See you all in the next video. Bye for now, guys.